Hi guys, sorry I got cut off earlier in the video. Uh, phone ran out of uh, memory. Anyway, as I was saying, you need a 2.4 mm drill bit. Uh, that's the exact size for the weak hole of the ST. Okay, just one piece will do. You can get these at the hardware shop easily for you know, two or three bucks. Okay, next thing is uh, you cut a piece of 28 gauge canto wire. Uh, you can use, of course, uh, 30 gauge, 32, depending on what sort of core you're building. So 10 cm long, okay. Loosen all the screws. Uh, I'm going to start with the uh, the left weak hole first, okay. So we make a, a hook at the end of the wire. Hook it around the screw, okay. It's a bit dark. Hang on. Okay. Hope you can see this. All right. And then just tighten the negative screw. Right. Then you fit the uh, the straight side uh, the of the drill bit that does not have any grooves into the weak hole. Okay. All right. And you start wrapping anti-clockwise. Pull hard as you're wrapping. Okay. I'm doing a 4 3 wrap. Okay. Whereby the fourth wrap goes through the goes through in between the okay, if you can see it goes through in between the uh, drill bit and the center post and then goes at the back around between the two spaces all right pull hard you can adjust adjust your coil slightly okay pull hard on the longer end and then tighten the center post screw down fully okay do not cut off uh, the extra length that is sticking out okay for those that are making a single wick, this is where you stop and of course you just clip off the extra, alright? But if uh, you're doing a dual wick, okay? So what you need to do next, twist and pull the drill bit up gently, okay? Right, and you have one nice coil that is done. Okay, move on to the other side. Okay, same thing. Poke in the drill bit. Okay. No, I tighten up too much. Okay. Yeah, as I was saying, uh, okay, you should end up with uh, this, okay, and now you take the longer side and you do the wrapping from the top. going down to the bottom but this time round you are going through okay inward towards you and pulling from the top wrap down to the bottom so as as you're doing this it's kind of like a uh, knitting okay as you're doing this 
uh, make sure you keep track of how many reps you're actually doing and if not uh, if one side has more reps than the other you end up uh, with a coil glowing more than the other side you know and eventually the coil will will pop okay Okay, you can use a plier to pull and to help you pull as you are doing the wrapping on, on the other side as uh, you know it we, it does require a bit of fidgeting as compared to having two different uh, wires to do your dual coils okay So one more rep to go. Okay, and then you tighten down the the wire. Okay. And pull out the drill bit. So what you would end up is uh, a very neatly coiled up dual wick. Okay. Uh, do not cut off the excess wires yet. Okay. So we can do adjustments uh, if needed. Okay. As you can see, it's quite uh, fast and straightforward to do. Contrary to what a few people have been saying that uh, single wire is a bitch to do. Okay, next thing. Next thing we do is uh, we fit the eddy into a uh, fit the eddy into a uh, ohms reader or checker as you want to call it. Uh, you can get these at fast tech now uh, very easily uh, as compared to the past so okay if you have done it correctly you should get a, a reading of about the 0 0.34 if you are using 28 gauge to do your uh, dual coil okay if you do not get the reading from the ohms reader Okay. If it reads just a, a slash at the side, that it means the somewhere down the the line, your uh, your coil is uh, shorted or, or or not connected. Okay. Hang on, I need a bit. Okay. Uh, if you want, the next step would be to uh, test fire the coil. Okay. See if the number of reps are, are correct on each side. Okay. Okay. Okay, beautiful. Alright. And now you can clip off the uh, excess uh, wire. Okay, now grab hold of the uh, wick that we made uh, earlier. Okay, 
pay attention here, okay? Poke it through your uh, rolling to the syringe or, or, or the, the paper clip, okay? And what you do now is you only roll more on one side the side which you are going to poke through the wick hole okay and what this does is it makes uh, the wick tapered in shape all right every few rows you do you test fit it into the coil okay i've done this uh, count countless times so i'm quite used to uh, how much I, I need to roll but in, anyway because the uh, the wall of the wick is so thin and, and soft for this uh, build you if you carefully twist and push down okay as you insert the wick you'll see that it goes down very nicely okay why do you make the wick tapered? It's so that you know the top part of the the wick which all the wraps are resting on there is no gaps in between them. Okay? This will ensure a very uh, nice uh, firing, uh, no hot spots. Okay? If there's no freeze in your wick in the first place while while you are building the wicks okay next piece same thing put it through the needle and just roll more on one side okay in fact the the top part of the wig I'm not even touching it at all you know all right okay same thing put it through Okay, if it's, if you feel that the if you can feel that the wick is still too large at the tip to go through, please do not force it in. Okay, roll more. Okay, roll a bit more. Okay, Right, still too big. Okay, perfect. Very hard to show. I wish I had uh, had uh, auto fo focus on my cam. All right, and as you can see at the bottom, almost nothing is sticking out. Okay, that is how short I do my wigs. Okay, this is so that well as your the level of your juice drops while you're vaping okay yes you need to tilt more and more but what happens is, is it doesn't need to go through a longer wick okay straight away the juice will just go right through the the hole the wick holes and travel up to the coils while you tilt it okay now what happens if you had overrode the wick and it got way too loose okay all you need to do is pull the wick out slowly gently unwrap the wick and re-roll it okay you'll find that uh, you 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 still be able to salvage the the wick okay all right now i'm going to refit the uh, Oh, sorry.
refit the glass okay for the glass just put in a few uh, depths of a uh, few drops of uh, VG or PG some of you can you uh, might want to just use a uh, e-liquid juice okay I prefer just to use VG all right press it down slowly from the top okay I say again from the top you press it down okay even at this point here use your nails and just push it down okay all right see cap on the sleeve if your genesis has one all right then you screw on to your mod okay and you test fire now uh, if you're not confident that the coil will, will pop or not uh, for some of you you might want to swap out the, to a weaker battery but for me uh, as I've done this method countless of times uh, using a single wire I'm very confident uh, nothing will pop and I don't have to pulse much okay okay see Now, if you notice this side that I'm pointing is glowing faster slightly than the other side. So what you do is, on the side that is weaker, you get something sharp, a needle or, or just a pin, pincer, the tip. Okay. While you're pulsing, probe at it. Just probe at it a few times, but do not at any time touch the negative or positive post while you're doing this all right if you find that the wick you can see a, a uh, any thin gaps between the the wrapping and the the wig okay get your syringe needle again poke it through the the wig and just you know wiggle it to enlarge the the wig slightly all right All right. Nice even glow when uh, fully fired. All right. Okay. Now, uh, add some juice in and try it out. Mm, yummy. Mm. 
Okay. Screw on the top cap. Put on the drip tip. Okay. And Okay, that is all for the tutorial on uh, on the uh, setting up of a Genesis. Of course, uh, with this setup, you you can have very various uh, uh, other configurations whereby the hollow part of the wig you can stick in another you know steel mesh wig that is rolled very thinly or some people even stick a uh, cotton wool into the, the the straw, you know, to aid with uh, extra wicking. But uh, generally, I find this setup is best used with uh, juices with uh, high VG like Bobas and uh, Witches Brew etc etc. You know, if the juice you're vaping is uh, high in PG, okay, then. Uh, Stuffing something in between the straw wicks or hollow wick, whatever you want to call it, works best. Okay? Peace!